Okay, I'm back. Good morning, everybody. My name is Darlene, and I have Parkinson's. I also have a bad memory, and I forget things all the time. Welcome to Try It Thursday. Now, we're going to try something new. I've never done this before. I've seen people do it. Um, I'm going to try Mod Podging a uh, flower pot. Now, I put this couple of pieces on last night because I wanted to just make sure that my, my glue worked because I made my own Mod Podge. So I put six ounces of white kids washable glue. Um, they said it had to be washable, so that's what I put in there. And then I put one third of a cup of water and I shook it all up and that's what I'm using to Mod Podge. Okay, and then I just have to paint it on to this pot. Now, I'm doing it ahead because I want to show you the finished product on the Thursday. So, this is currently Saturday, where I'm at Saturday. So now I've got a few pieces like this. Now my napkins that I got, that I'm using, come with, it's, they've got a liner on them. So I don't want the white liner. So I'm gonna take the white liner off. Might be too thin, but we'll try using that just for our own little sake. And then we just want to tear this. We don't want it to be all straight and whatnot. So we're just going to tear it into bits. And then we'll just paint it on. And if, because it's thin, we'll probably have to do, you know, a few coats of it. But I'll just start today. I won't show you all the way through because that'd be kind of boring. But I'll show you some of it. So I'm going to dip my foam paintbrush in there and I'm just going to start by putting some glue on the pot and sticking this over it like this and then we paint over the top of that. Now I read a, a thing about how to do this. So I'm hoping that the thing I read was right because it's it, that's why I tried that little piece last night because they said that it, it would dry clear and I wanted to make sure that it would and it did so that's good. Okay now I'm going to bring it down inside just a little bit because I don't want the edge of the pot showing. So I'm going to bring that down like this. Okay, now we'll just get the next strip ready. There. Huh. This will be very interesting. I said, I feel like I'm kind of doing a arts and crafts from a kid's school project, but you know, it, it'll just make the pot a little bit nicer. I don't know what I'm going to do with it because I'm not a gardener at all. So I'm, I'm not sure. I'll probably put a plant in it and give it to Cal and Ashley. They're, they're gardeners for sure. Actually, they're not just gardeners. Her father has a, um, a farm, like a berry farm, and, and they go out and help out there all the time. And so that's, um, they enjoy that so much. There, this is, this isn't a bad little project. I think, I think you might enjoy this. And I'm, I'm glad I bought an extra thing of glue because I do think that I probably will run out of this Mod Podge because I'm putting it on pretty thick, but I think you do have to put it on fairly thick. I'm, if you don't put it on very thick, I think that it would just fall off, you know. But I could be wrong. It's glue. Maybe it's just designed to be on like that. But see, there will be dirt on the inside of this pot. So I don't need to go all the way down inside because there will be dirt in there. Now they said just put a pr pretty napkin on. The day I was in the dollar store, there wasn't very many pretty napkins, so I didn't get very pretty napkin, but it's not too bad. I think 
that I, I'm enjoying doing different arts and crafts. You know, I never thought that I would be that kind of a crafty person, but turns out I kind of like it. So, which is a good thing because it gives me something to do. And, you know, like right now I'm doing pretty good with, I was frozen up just a little while ago, but my pills have now taken in effect and they're working. So while they're working, I work. <laughs> that's, that's the only way I can do it. When I was down last night, we had our social club last night and when we were downstairs, it was like, I was doing fine. I was doing all my wiggling as I always do. And then just about, just before nine o'clock, it just stopped. I and mean, it's like, people I'm sure wonder how, how come that girl wiggles all that time and then all of a sudden it just stops? Like, I'm sure they wonder about that, but they, you know, people don't understand that that's the, that's the thing about Parkinson's, you know, like it's not always the movement. And, you know, you would think the movement bothers other people. Um, like when you watch somebody that's moving like me, it, it's kind of bothersome. Like, I don't know, people... It, they won't listen because they're they're kind of bothered by it. But for me, it's the opposite way around. For me, who's having to deal with it, the stillness, I don't like the stillness because the stillness is when there's pain. There's no pain involved with this wiggling. But when you're still, that's when you have the pain. So I would far rather wiggle any day. Now, because of the neuropathy in my hands, this is harder to do. Okay, now I'm going to do just a very little bit more and then I'm going to give it a rest because I want it to have a, a chance to um, dry and then I'll put the next layer on. But we want to have it dry. So this, is, this will be my last piece, I think. It was kind of nice, the, the girls when they, um, that were doing the singing, or the girl and her husband that were doing the singing I, I uh, last night, they watched my channel. They're friends of Claudine's, and uh, they watched my channel. So it was nice to meet people that I, I, I hadn't known in the past and know that they were interested in my story and how I was doing. It was very nice. Okay, now let's see, is that, I think that's going to go on, I just want to make sure everything is all thoroughly wet. Alright, so I'm going to let that dry, and then tomorrow I'll do another coat on it. Alright, I'm going to turn you off, and I'll be back in another day. Everybody. My name is Darlene and I have Parkinson's. Well, it's not really morning. It's morning for me, but it's not morning for you. You're already watching a video that had me starting to do some Mod Podge. So I have let it dry. It's now got all the coats of the paper on it, but I think it looks kind of dull. So I want to do something to gussy it up a little bit. And I don't really know what I'm going to do. So let's see, go this way. No, go this way. I'm thinking I have some of this tape. I don't have a lot of crafting supplies, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do, but I wanted to just see if this tape would stick like over the top edge like this. No, I don't think so. It might go straight around the edge, but it won't go over the top. So let's measure what we would need. It's supposed to be sticky, but it is not sticky enough. So I'll put a little bit of glue on my pot. And then I will start to put this on. Let's see. So let's go right about there. I tell you, I'm not the best crafter, but I'm trying to learn because I would like to be able to do some crafting.
but I just have never done much of it, so um, I'm not very good at it. But that's how you learn, so that's what I'm doing. Now see, it is sticky a little bit because it's sticking to my fingers, but it's not sticky enough to stay on. So let me just put this on the end to hold it down. And I'm going to run a bead of glue along it. Put this on this end. Hold it down. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but heck, we're going to try it. Okay. And whoops. Oh dear. Next thing you know, I'm going to have this stuck everywhere. We lifted up the black dots that were on my floor. You probably haven't seen them for a while. We lifted those off the floor so that I could make sure that they would come off in case we ever did decide that we were going to be finding a house. I wanted to make sure I wasn't damaging the floor here. So we took them off and it worked very easily. Surprisingly, I, I thought it was going to be much harder, but Bill was a champion at getting them off. So Now see, this is kind of a little bit not like, not straight down, it's kind of tipped in a little bit. So I'm not sure that this is gonna look very good, but we're gonna try it. I think it's really gonna have to dry in order to, to be good. Oops, I got that. Oh, see, my hands don't work, my goodness. Caught on there. Well, I'm gonna have to just cut that little piece off. Okay. Now let's bring that around. All right, now let's just press that down. What do we think? Does that look okay to decorate that up or does that look stupid? Well, that's one string, string around there. I'm going to then put, oh, put one on the top. I'm going to put one on the inside, a red one on the inside. If I can find the end, there it is. All right. Let's see how far it has to go. It's going to be on the inside, so let's just go quickly and measure it. Okay. Okay, that'll be there. All right. Now, this one could be fun. One on the inside. Let's see. Okay. All right. Now let's see how that goes. is getting it started. Well, I don't know. I'm not, this is kind of hard. I think it's it's because the the uh, pot is not straight up and down. There must be a way of doing that on the concave. I think maybe I would have had to cut slits in the bottom of the tape or something. But this is my first attempt. I'll get better on my next attempt.
All right, so now let's just press that all down. Oh, hang on. Got that crinkled. Yeah, that didn't work. I got that over, overlapped. That's why I didn't stick onto it, because it was overlapping. There. So it's got a rim around the top. Now we're going to put black around the bottom. Let's see. If I can find it. All right, let's see how much we need to work with here. All right. I'll go with, oh, this has got a big piece that's torn out of it. That won't be good. Yeah, we're going to have to swap that out. Somehow that got torn, so we'll, oops, I'll pick that up after. So we'll go with this one, see how long I need it. All right, I need there. So now let's take it, get it glued. All the people who know how to craft, they're all just having a blast watching me. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. So, let's start to get this one stuck here. red ribbon I can put a bow on this but I don't have a little red ribbon see I don't have a big craft cupboard that I can just go and find things in because I'm just starting to get some stuff but I will eventually have a nice cupboard enough. Um, maybe I could glue on, I know, I'll glue on a letter. I'm going to give it to Cal and Ashley and Finn, or Cal and Ashley, but maybe I can find an M for McFate in here. There's an M right there, M for McFate. So let's color that up and then glue that on there. And then that will be in place of a bow. I'll do that after. All right, what will I do here? I better put this lid back on here. And I wonder what color would look good on this. Um, Green. No, 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 I'm not going to cover with this. I'm going to do with this glitter stuff. Uh, let's see if I had a 
dark green, but I don't have a dark green. I have dark red. I don't know if that will show up very good. What's this green here? Let's try this and see what this one is. Maybe it doesn't open. Maybe it's not. Oh, maybe it hasn't been opened. I had the lid on it. Oh! Now I popped the whole lid off. Whoa! All right. This has got to be changed here. We've done something dreadfully wrong. Now I'm going to have glitter on my table. Okay. Uh, I don't have a little paintbrush, so I'm going to have to use this big paintbrush. And we're just going to have to... I don't know what happened there. I think you know what I was supposed to do? I think I was supposed to take this little cap out and then put this cap back on. That's what, exactly what I was supposed to do. Well, now I know for the next time. Pretty sad, the crafter doesn't know how to put the lids off and on. No, that doesn't want to go on, let's we'll see. All right, let's get this one painted up. Oh, oh, for heaven's sakes, I don't think this is right. Huh. Well, I think that has to dry before I can glue that on there now, but it's not even, it's not even really showing the sparklies. Let's see, I've got to do something darker. Let's try this red one. See if we get figured it out. Let's see, let's take this off. That's right or not? Oh yeah, let's see. Well, that doesn't seem to be right either. Oh, there, okay, yes, yes, maybe. Okay, there's the little thing out. Now let's put this thing back in. Well, this is pernickety for my little hands, that's for sure. And it screws on the opposite way. Isn't that stupid? The opposite way than it should. Okay. Now let's see. Oh yeah, that's much better. That's way better. When you know what you're doing, it's so much better. All right. Now I'm gonna let this dry. And after it dries, I'll put it together and I'll show you. All right. Okay, everybody, we're back. Now, I've got it finished, and we're gonna just pretend that this green stuff is a plant. But I think it didn't turn out too bad. We've got an M on the front for McFate, we've got two rims around here, and one on the inside. For a first time Mod Podge, I think it's okay. Looks like a kindergarten craft, but you know what? I had fun doing it, and they'll enjoy it when I did it. So, I think that says that we were successful for this Try It Thursday. And I thank you all for joining me. And for all the people who are newly subscribed, please stick with us and we'll have lots of fun together. I enjoy welcoming new people to my YouTube family. All right. Thank you.
See you tomorrow.